You know, it's kind of sad when the last day of Hanukkah ends, and then we enter the long, dark winter, another three months until the warmth of spring arrives, another two months until we see the next Jewish holiday. We go through the same morning routine, the same daily work schedule, over and over again. What's going to energize us, propel us forward through the dark winter? What's going to light up each routine day, making it more meaningful than yesterday, from now until Pesach? You know, we all know the story of Hanukkah, a small group of Jews, they win a battle, they light the menorah, and it burns for eight days. But why would a small group of Jews even attempt to take on a world power like the Greeks? And why would they attempt to look for oil if the whole base of Mikdash, the whole temple, was impure? And why would they attempt to light with such little oil if there wasn't enough? You know, there's one root word that comes up all over Hanukkah. That's the word shum, there. On the dreidel, we find the letters for Nes Gadol, Hayasham. A great miracle happened there. We have the word shamish, shaman, chashmonaim, and shmona, which all have the word shum. It's a word we find in the word shamayim, heaven, which is up there, and it's a word that we find in the word neshama, which is metaphysical. It's higher up. What's the significance of the word, and why do we find it all over Hanukkah? You see, the word sham, there, is about striving higher. It's about not being here. It's about not settling for mediocrity. Sure, the Hashemunam could have settled for mediocrity. Sure, they could have said, hey, everything's impure in the temple. Don't even bother looking for pure oil. Sure, they could have said, hey, there's no chance we could take on a Greek world power. And sure, they could have said, don't even bother lighting. There's not enough oil anyway. But they didn't. The word sham is about being better today than yesterday. That's the message that will carry us through the routine winter days. Sure, we could just coast our way to Pesach in mediocrity, but we're not. We want every single day to be meaningful. So we challenge ourselves to make every day just a little greater and a little better than it was yesterday. That's the message of Hanukkah. And if we carry it, it will carry us.